This video describes a method for achieving very low cost sensing and bidirectional communication using common light emitting diodes. This work was done at Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratory, Cambridge, Massachusetts. If we take a common LED and reverse the current flow, we'll find that the LED acts as a photo detector. The current ranges from 100 microamps in the dark to over 500 microamps in bright light. Our first application was to prototype a television remote control with a combined capacitive and illumination sensing system to conserve battery power in bright light, but to automatically activate the keyboard lighting whenever the remote control was handled in the dark. Copper tape is used as the electrodes for the capacitive proximity sensor, and the LED is used both as the light sensor and as the light emitter. This added ability to sense light is essentially free. No additional components are required, just software. We then prototype direct LED to LED communication. Here we have two identical PIC prototype boards pulsing their LEDs on for one millisecond, then sensing light for three milliseconds. When the LED detects light, the microprocessor servos the emitted pulse stream to opposite phase. The boards can then bidirectionally communicate by emitting long pulses for ones and short pulses for zeros. We then created a generic device called an eyedropper, containing a single LED, a microprocessor, a switch, and a battery. To emit data, just squeeze the eyedropper button. To receive new data, double-click the button, then squeeze. To transfer data between two eyedroppers, double-click and hold to start receiving, then squeeze the other to send the data. The receiver winks to confirm success. Here, an eyedropper with the correct password is used to unlock the lobby door here at Merle. An eyedropper with the incorrect password will not unlock the door. Now we do a peer-to-peer -peer transfer of data from one eyedropper to another. With the correct password, the second eyedropper can now unlock the door. Unlike card keys or RFID tags, eyedroppers can transfer data from one device to another as a peer-to-peer -peer operation. This is completely new and unique. In the future, cell phones could exchange phone numbers and contact information using the display backlights as bidirectional data ports. Since the backlight is already there, no additional parts are required. One could log into their computer securely, right through the power on LED of the monitor. Again, no additional parts are required. One could download new capabilities into appliances or upload diagnostic information. We are only now considering the applications in a world where every LED can be a zero-cost, short-range, bidirectional data port.